analytic tree, uh, trigonometry part 14, verify the identity. So what our goal is here is to transform one side into the other side and gets a little hairy in here, doesn't it? Because don't have these pieces. The first thing I think I'm going to do, if you don't mind, this really bugs me. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to make a let statement and say let, um, hell, let alpha equal to theta. So every, every, because all this is is a new angular value, right? This is two times theta. So if you don't mind, so I'm just going to go back through here, and hopefully you'll remind me at the end to go back and do my resubstitution. So every place I found two theta, I put in alpha. All right. So from there, I'm going to do some stuff. Um, one thing that I'm looking at here, because look, I see it, but I need sine to the fourth, so I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get that. So I'm just going to break this out and take a look at it for a second. I'm going to take sine squared theta, I'm sorry, cosine squared theta times cosine squared theta is this, isn't it? Right? Plus sine, damn, look, I'm mixing my metaphors. Over. I took alpha here, didn't I? So alpha, sorry. Sine squared alpha, right? Is equal to, you don't have to keep writing this over and over. I'm just writing it a couple of times so you can see that I'm not messing with this over here. My intention is not to do that, just to carry this along. So I'm not going to mess with this much longer. At the end, I hope to bring it down. So look, I've, this is what's happening. I'm starting to realize that I'm going to need sine, sine to the fourth alpha. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to trade these in. Cosine squared alpha is the same as 1 minus sine squared alpha, isn't it? And all I did was take the Pythagorean identity, the one that says sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1, and I just moved it around a little bit. So times 1 minus sine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. Is that okay? So then this is what I'm going to do with this, and all of a sudden this is going to come together, and I, hopefully you're going to go, wow, that wasn't too bad. So if you look at this for a second, this is difference of squares, isn't it? Oh, this is not difference of squares, but I'm going to, if you don't mind, I'm going to foil this. So I'm going to foil this. I'm going to do a little foil here, F-O-I-L, and it will give me, just using your binomial expansion, you'll get 1 minus 2 sine squared alphas, won't you? And then when you multiply a negative times a negative for your last piece, you're going to get a positive, and you're going to get sine squared times sine squared is sine to the fourth, isn't it? So sine to the fourth alpha. I'm praying to God that this sine to the fourth alpha is this one right here. And then I'm just going to bring this piece along, right? I haven't used this piece, so this plus sine is this one, and this sine squared alpha is this one up here, isn't it? And if you don't mind, I'm going to keep my work you here. So look at this for a second. This is, this is what I want you to notice now, because this is what I'm starting to see. I'm seeing this, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Right here I have negative two sine squared alphas, right? Here, I have positive one of the same thing, sine squared alpha. So negative two of them plus one of them is negative one. So I have one minus sine squared alpha, right? Plus this piece that I haven't used, sine to the fourth alpha is equal to, and I'm going to remind myself and you that we have to keep this commitment that we're going to prove that the left hand side is the same as the right hand side so sine to the fourth alpha just carrying it down we'll look at this for a second and see if we haven't accomplished this because now what I'm starting to look at I have one minus sine squared alpha and one minus sine squared alpha if we use our Pythagorean identities is cosine squared alpha plus right, plus sine to the fourth alpha is equal to, well, yes, it is. This is that, and this is that. Okay? All right, that one was really tough for me. It took a long time. Oh, I told you I was going to forget, but I'm not going to um, because we're supposed to, it's supposed to be cosine squared 2 theta, right? Because 2 theta is our angular value here, is our argument here times, oh, my God, look, I put an X here instead. Wow. I do that anywhere else? Hope not. So, is equal to cosine squared two theta plus sine fourth two theta, right? Is our angular value. Okay, you guys. All right. I hope this is helpful, and and I get it. It's, it's difficult. Keep practicing. You're gonna get great at this.